without further ado, Janet, there's a mic right there. So thank you very much for uh, making the film and showing it in tonight's program. And uh, are, do you live here in Los Angeles? Actually, I share my time between uh, California and Quebec. I have a home in Quebec and a, and a home here in California. And you're a well-known actor in Quebec, is that correct? So they say. So they say. So, but, but I, I've heard that. And uh, is this your first film that you've directed? Uh, yeah, that is correct. And so tell us a little bit about the story, because it's, you know, it's very unique and it seems very personal and set in a very specific time period. Uh, yeah, well, actually, you know what? I'm so nervous that I actually wrote a couple of paragraphs. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> In literature, there have been stories about uh, young boys' sexual and romantic feelings for adult women. Uh, in Fellini's Eight and a Half, for instance, the boys pay the Saraguina, the old prostitute, uh, to dance for them. Uh, in Claude Jutras, uh, uh, Quebec classic Mon Oncle Antoine, the young hero watches the notary's wife uh, getting undressed, and one fantasy scene even shows him trying to touch her bare breasts. And as for songs, well, uh, I was raised, you know, in the 50s and 60s with uh, the um, singer Dalida singing Bambino about a little boy who desperately falls in love for an adult woman. Uh, and growing up, I had secret feelings uh, for some adults as well, you know, just like the characters depicted above. And in my case, they were men. Uh, of course, you know, it, 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 I knew it wouldn't lead anywhere. And, and if only because I was a kid, I knew it wasn't supposed to lead anywhere. I mean, I was not crazy or anything. And, and, but the feelings were there. And as an echo to the uh, equality conversation of today, wouldn't you agree that those feelings uh, were just as valid as the feelings of a little boy for an adult woman? Yet over the years, I have never been able to find one film that deals with this. Maybe there are, but I'm not aware of them, and that's why it matters to me to tell this story. Great. And did you, so this was this produced outside of the Quebec sort of film auspices, the government? This is privately financed, and um, yeah, we, we had a window of time. Uh, Daniel Rosner, who's a wonderful producer, and who, uh, produced this, uh, uh, you know, had some time, and so did I, and um, so we, we wanted to get going, so, you know, we just financed it privately. And so, is this now just starting its festival life, where you guys are submitting it out to different festivals? It is. Uh, uh, today's the world premiere, and uh, yes, and now we're going through a submission process. And uh, do, just uh, a couple other questions, but any questions there? If there's anybody, just speak up. It's a little hard to actually see from where we are. I'm not sure if you asked this question, so. Great. If, if, I, if I'm repeating a question you asked, forgive me. Okay. Is it autobiographical? It is semi-autobiographical. Uh, I grew up in, not in 1997, obviously. Um, I am homosexual. And, uh, uh, and we already talked about that. But all the, uh, let's, call it, let's put it this way, all the anecdote uh, um, is fictitious. Thanks. They are wonderful actors, in my humble opinion. Uh, first of all, young Robert Naylor uh, won a uh, Young Artists Award here in L.A. a few months ago uh, for his uh, groundbreaking performance as, uh, let's call him a young James Dean. Um, he played a very disturbed character in a Quebec movie called This In Me, or Ten and a Half. Um, and and um, it's worth mentioning that, uh, you know, what he does here in uh, Alone with Mr. Carter is just a completely different character. Uh, it's just a completely different personality. Um, Claudia Ferry, uh, um, I'm very honored to have Claudia Ferry as a cast member. Um, she's a, you know, she's a really big actor, uh, north of the border, if I can put it that way. 
she's also, um, you know, she appears in The Killing on a &E, and I'm just very proud of her. I think everything she does in the film is just extraordinary. Uh, uh, and Mr. Paul James Saunders uh, also, uh, I think, is wonderful and, and was very giving of his time and uh, of his emotional life. Wonderful. And uh, how long did it take to actually shoot that? Uh, we shot it over four days. Uh, and uh, I, I really want to mention that, um, you know, we got tremendous help uh, uh, from the industry uh, in Montreal and, and uh, um, all over Quebec, actually. Our, our, our sound person uh, was I traveled from Quebec City to work on our film. Um, we got, uh, for instance, uh, a lot of services from Mr. Andre Boulot, who I think is here today. Are you here, Andre? In any case, uh, uh, um, uh, Mr. Boulot uh, uh, was very generous of, of and, and, and uh, uh, gave us access to equipment, etc. Uh, um, it was actually a very, um, it was an incredible. It was just an incredible experience for me to, you know, to, to get all those Christmas gifts from from the industry. And so now that you've directed this one, are you? Did you just kind of do it as as we were saying back and forth, because it was a feeling you had, and you know, a, a personal feeling. And so you're done with directing. You want to keep going and mm -hmm. try some other directing. Uh, no, I'm not done with directing. Uh, um, I'm always going to be an actor, that's for sure, uh, uh, in Quebec and here in the United States, uh, and also in English-speaking Canada. Uh, the thing is that uh, I wrote a couple of plays uh, in my uh, roughly my early twenties that that uh, were pretty successful in Quebec, and and after a while uh, it became very clear to me that uh, emotionally I was not able to um, at the time to deal with uh, uh, the fact of telling people that um, I was homosexual and 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 also other aspects of. Let's call it the self-revelation that goes with uh, writing fiction at times. But certainly, uh, the fact that uh, I am homosexual uh, was for me a tremendous obstacle. And a few years ago, that I, and, and I had a career as an actor, and I still do. And a few years ago, uh, suddenly it just didn't make any sense for me to to not say who I was, and and uh, and I started writing again. Well, I want to, number one, congratulations on making the film. Number two, for coming out, because that's always an important bridge for anybody. And for anybody maybe sitting in the audience, you know, it's an important thing. So um, we actually need to wrap it up a little because we've got the, the double bill coming in. So what I'm going to ask is if, if you can, we can walk out to the lobby, because I know there's going to be some people that want to speak with you. And then everybody hopefully will follow along. <laughs> and we'll, we'll actually be able to come in. Uh, and uh, clean the theater. That's great. Thanks for your sure. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.